Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in space free from the shackles of gravity? Well, today we're going to delve into that very question. Imagine for a moment, you're an astronaut floating around the International Space Station. The world literally is at your feet. You look down and instead of being grounded, you're hovering, suspended in a state of perpetual freefall. This feeling of weightlessness, this freedom from gravity's grip, this is microgravity. Now back on Earth, we're all too familiar with gravity. It's the invisible force that keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground. It's why when we jump, we come back down. It's why apples fall from trees and not the other way around. But in space, far from Earth's gravitational pull, things are a bit different. Out in the cosmos, the force of gravity is significantly weaker. It's not completely absent, but it's certainly not as dominant as it is here on terra firma. And this absence, or rather this reduction of gravity, has some pretty fascinating effects. Just think about it. In space, you could do a somersault without breaking a sweat. You could glide from one end of your spaceship to the other with just a gentle push. You could even sleep vertically or upside down, and it wouldn't make a difference. Sounds like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But what's the catch? Is it all just fun and games or are there some downsides to this weightless wonderland? Because as we know, our bodies in their infinite wisdom have evolved over millions of years to function optimally under Earth's gravitational pull. So what happens when you take that away? The answer, my friends, is not as straightforward as you might think. And this is where things get really interesting. So weightlessness sounds pretty fun, right? But what happens to our bodies when gravity is no longer in play? Buckle up, we are about to find out. Our bodies are marvels of evolution, designed to function optimally under Earth's gravity. But what happens when we take that away? Picture this. You're a creature of Earth, a product of millions of years of evolution under the unyielding pull of gravity. You're a gravity-dependent machine, and this force has shaped every aspect of your being. Let's start with your skeletal system. It's like the framework of a building, providing structure and support. The force of gravity helps to strengthen our bones, making them denser and more robust. When we're standing or walking, we're resisting gravity, and this resistance is what keeps our bones strong. But in the weightless environment of space, our bones don't have to work as hard, and they start to lose their density. It's a bit like if you stopped using a muscle, it would start to waste away. Next up, our muscular system. Gravity is like the ultimate gym workout. It's constantly challenging our muscles, keeping them strong and healthy. When we lift a weight, we're actually fighting against gravity. But in space, there's no gravity to resist. Our muscles don't need to work as hard to move around, and like our bones, they can start to atrophy. Last but not least, our cardiovascular system. On Earth, our hearts have to work against gravity to pump blood upwards to the brain. But in space, without gravity, the heart doesn't have to work as hard. Sounds good, right? Well, not quite. Over time, this can lead to a decrease in the heart's overall fitness level. So, you see, we're a lot more dependent on gravity than we might think. It's not just about keeping our feet on the ground, it's integral to our very survival as biological organisms. As it turns out, living in space isn't all fun and games. Let's explore the effects of microgravity on our bodies. The sensation of floating freely in space is one of the most exhilarating experiences astronauts rave about. Imagine, if you will, the freedom of movement, the ability to tumble and glide with the slightest push. This is the delight of weightlessness, the first of the good effects of microgravity on the human body. It's like being a superhero, able to leap with a single bound and fly with a mere flick of the wrist. Sounds like a dream, right? But as with most dreams, there's a reality check. And in space, that check comes in the form of the negative effects of microgravity. Picture this. After a few months of floating around, you return to Earth only to find your legs won't support you. You're weak, your balance is off, and you can barely stand. This is due to muscle atrophy and bone loss, two of the bad effects of living in microgravity. Without the constant pull of Earth's gravity, our muscles and bones don't have to work as hard. It's like if you spent months on end lying in bed, your legs would get weaker, your bones would lose density. In space, this process is accelerated. Astronauts can lose up to 2% of their bone mass per month in space. To combat this, they exercise for two hours a day, six days a week. But even then, they still lose some bone and muscle mass. And it's not just our muscles and bones that are affected. Our cardiovascular system also takes a hit. In microgravity, the heart doesn't have to work as hard to pump blood throughout the body. This might sound like a good thing, but it actually leads to a decrease in the size of the heart. And when astronauts return to Earth, their hearts have to readjust to the pull of gravity. 
which can lead to a host of cardiovascular issues. Finally, we come to the ugly. Microgravity can negatively affect our eyesight. The lack of gravity causes bodily fluids to redistribute, and this can cause pressure to build up in the eyes, leading to vision problems. Some astronauts have even reported changes in their eyesight after returning to Earth. So, while the idea of floating around in space might seem like a dream come true, the reality is a little more complicated. Living in microgravity has its perks, sure, but it also comes with a host of problems that our bodies aren't naturally equipped to handle. Microgravity, then, is a double-edged sword. It can provide an exhilarating experience but also poses serious challenges to our health. So, if our bodies struggle in microgravity, how can we hope to live and work in space for prolonged periods? The answer lies in adaptation. Imagine this. You're an astronaut living on a space station. You wake up, start your day with a workout. Not because you're a fitness enthusiast, but because you must. You see, in the absence of gravity, your muscles and bones can start to waste away. So, you exercise rigorously, two hours a day, seven days a week, just to maintain your health. And what about food? In space, you can't just whip up a gourmet meal. You're dependent on specially prepared meals that must be lightweight, long-lasting, and nutritionally balanced. Scientists are constantly innovating to create food that not only meets these criteria, but is also palatable. Then there's the question of our very genes. Could genetic modification be the key to surviving in microgravity? Some researchers think so. They're exploring the possibility of altering our DNA to better suit life in space. It's a controversial idea, but one that could revolutionize space travel. But it's not all about survival. It's also about quality of life. Imagine having a garden in space, tending to plants and watching them grow. Researchers are experimenting with ways to grow food in space, which could provide astronauts with fresh food and also help with waste recycling. And let's not forget mental health. Living in a confined space, away from Earth, can take a toll on an astronaut's mental well-being. NASA and other space agencies are developing programs to help astronauts cope with the psychological challenges of long-term space travel. As we look to the future, we see a world where space travel is not just for astronauts, but for everyone. Companies are already developing spacecraft for space tourism. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be living on Mars or even further afield. But one thing is for sure. As we push the boundaries of space exploration, adapting to life in microgravity will be one of our greatest challenges. So, what have we learned about life in space? We've embarked on a journey, unraveling the mysteries of gravity and its effects on our bodies in space. We now understand that we are gravity-dependent machines, intricately designed to function in an environment where the force of gravity is a constant. We've looked at microgravity's two faces, the good, the bad, and the ugly. On one hand, it offers an exhilarating feeling of weightlessness, a freedom like no other. On the other, it presents challenges to our health and well-being, from muscle atrophy to vision impairment. And now we turn to you, our curious and engaged viewers. Your fascination and support for space exploration fuels the advancement of this field. Your questions provoke thought, your ideas inspire innovation, and your enthusiasm fuels our collective journey into the unknown. Remember, every like, comment, and subscribe not only supports the channel but also contributes to the wider conversation about space exploration. So, get involved, share your thoughts, and let's continue this extraordinary journey together. After all, the future of space travel isn't just about astronauts and scientists, it's about all of us exploring together, overcoming challenges, and expanding the boundaries of human knowledge and experience. So, until our next space adventure, stay curious, stay excited, and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of microgravity.